Hey, this is Mike Lindsay from Vital MX, and we have a little news break meets rumor mill feature for you guys today. We are going over the confirmed and suspected list of riders for the 2022 FIM World Supercross Championship. We have most of the teams announced, and we also have a list of some rumors we've had confirmed by different sponsors on who's going to be some of these teams' roster. So we're going to jump right into it. Uh, considering they announced this last week and we didn't do a video on it, we're going to start with the Bud Racing Kawasaki Group out of France. They have American Chris Blos and Australian Matt Moss on 250s in the SX2 class. And then they have French riders Gregory Aranda and Cedric Subreus, or Subaros in 450s in SX1. Uh, a team that we've been really curious to see what happens with, and we believe we have a, a final roster for them, is the MDK Motorsports Group. Uh, initially, we thought they were going to be a KTM or some sort of Austrian back uh, brand, especially after seeing them announce Chad Reed. However, it is not a full team on one brand of bike like we expected. So yes, Chad Reed was announced as their SX1 450 rider. The other 450 rider on the team is suspected to be Josh Grant aboard a Honda. And then their two SX2 riders in the 250 class will be American Justin Bogle and American with Derek Drake. Uh, so really surprising. We're going to see, it sounds like Bogle dropped down there and looks like he will be parting ways or separating from the HEP um, slash Pipes Motorsports group um, after kind of taking a sabbatical early into outdoors. Um, the other team we're really curious on, we were kind of aware that they would all ride different bikes, so it was going to be really interesting to see where it ended up, is Rick Ware Racing. So we have four confirmed riders. When we say confirmed, some sponsors confirmed them to us. We have not seen an actual team announcement. Um, but we aren't 100% sure on the bike class order. We believe it is going to be Joey Savacci on a Kawasaki in the SX1 class on a 450, and then Colt Nichols in SX1 on a 450 aboard a KTM a Yamaha or Cowie. We're not really sure there. Uh, then in the 250s, it sounds like it will be Ryan Brees on a 250 Yamaha and Shane McElrath also on a Yamaha. However, we may have Brees and Nichols um, reverse. We've heard conflicting information on that, but we, we're pretty certain it's going to be McElrath on the 250, Savachi on the 450, and like I said, we're kind of guessing on the, the Brees and Nichols situation a little bit. Uh, again, that team's going to be a little bit scared. Mostly, or was it? We got two Yamahas, possibly a third one with Nichols, Savachi on the Cowie is what we've heard. Uh, Craig Dak Racing, the Monster Energy Yamaha Factor Australian team. They announced two of their riders a while back with Luke Clout and Aaron Tonti, both Australians. Uh, Luke confirmed in the SX1 450 class. He has since been joined by Josh Hill in the 450 class, American rider. And then we believe that leaves Aaron Tonti, um, who we believe just won the 450 Australian motocross style. So congratulations to Aaron. Uh, SX2 in 250. And then... American Kyle Chisholm, we believe, will round out their 250 field. Uh, Moto Concepts Racing was one of the first to announce their team, so it's pretty straight up. It is Justin Brayton and Vince Fries aboard Honda CR450Rs in the SX1 class. And then Oldenburg, Mitchell Oldenburg, and Cole Seeley on CRF250Rs in the SX2 class. Um, there might be a chance we could see an Oldenburg Fries swap, but we believe the, the bike order, as we just said, should be correct. Um, we know Cole's definitely been putting time on the 250. We really suspect Brain and Cole to stay at what we said, but again, maybe a chance swap with Freeze or Oldenburg, depending on how they're riding and what the team feels. Uh, one team we really don't have a lot of answers for so far is PMG, which is Pipes Motorsports Group, which is basically an extension of HEP. Uh, we believe they have made an offer to Marshall Welton for SX2 for the 250 class, and then Brandon Hartframp, we expect, who does already ride for the team to ride SX1 450. Um, there is a lot of things going on in the program. There's rumors of an OEM switch. We don't know if that'll happen before or after World Supercross, or in fact, if it's happening, it's kind of a rumor at this point. So we're really not sure who the other two are going to be. We've heard some rumors, but nothing too solidified at this point. The Genuine Honda, or I believe it's Honda Genuine Honda Racing, which is the factory Honda Australia team. We know it here in the U.S. as Firepower Honda. They announced two of their riders, of course, already with Wilson Todd and Max Anstey, who currently ride for the team um, in a few different series. They would be SX2 on Honda 250s. Uh, it has not been announced, but it is very well known that Dean Wilson will be joining them in the 450 class in SX1. And we do not know who their other 450 guy is. The rumors have pointed towards there's a chance that Ken Roxon could be there, especially if he figures out a deal to stay at Honda. And really, at this point, it's one of the very few teams that, that Kenny could be riding for. Of course, Kenny announced he's racing this series, but not which team he's riding for. So, I mean, at this point, 
Uh, the next couple teams, we believe, have 450 guys, so it, it would either have to be Firepower or PMG at this point that Kenny would ride for, or he's not going to race the series. Uh, last, Next up, we have the Nils Honda team, which is basically the 114 Honda MX2 team. They're moving out of MX2 into this World Series. Uh, we've been told they have Jordi Tixier and Pellegrini, uh, Italian rider in SX1 450. We do not know who their SX2 riders are. We've heard some rumors, but nothing really solidified. We believe one of them is another Italian rider, though. The Club MX Yamaha team has Enzo Lopes and Jace Owen for SX2, as far as we're aware. These are also not confirmed. These are just kind of rumors. Um, and then we believe that Cade Clayson will be in the 450 class. So actually a mistake from what we said earlier. Club does have a 450 spot open from what we're aware, albeit we believe Phil Nicoletti um, is likely to be on that second 450 if he can return to health and riding um, before the series starts here in about five or six weeks. Uh, the last team we have is the GSM Yamaha team. It's a French team. Uh, we'd heard for a long time they were going to be three French riders and one American. They have not come out and announced their team, but they've pretty much been posting about on social media. Uh, the American would be Carson Brown in the SX2 250 class, and then he likely is to be joined by Maxime Dupre, French rider in 250. And then the two 450 French riders, we believe, are Thomas Remet and Anthony Burnham. Maybe mispronounced that. But as we said, that really brings us down to a point that there's only five, six spots we're really not aware of in this series for the confirmed classes. And for anybody asking, what about Eli Tomac? Eli Tomac was announced as a wild card for one round only. Um, the series has these 10 teams that have to provide two riders in each class. That's 20 riders per field. That leaves two spots on the gate because it is a 22-man gate for wild cards in each class. So Tomac will line up on a Monster Energy. Uh, Yamaha YZ450 is a wild card for the Bryn round. Um, and as of right now, potentially Roxon could go wild card, but supposedly the way the rule is written, wild cards are only supposed to be able to do one round. So we don't think Kenny would be able to race the series if he ends up going that route. And then the last couple wild cards we believe will be a little bit more last minute, depending on local talent and who's interested in the series. But again, those guys will be able to run their own programs, ride their own bikes. But part of that deal is they're not supposed to be able to ride more than one round in the series. So that's where we're at now. Um, it is really some of the, the guys in here. We have a lot of guys that are later in their career, a couple of young guys. And honestly, doing the rough math, as of right now, there is a very high chance that this series is going to end up with an average age of 30 or over, which, again, really surprising the amount of guys kind of coming out of retirement or delaying retirement uh, to try to get in on the ground floor of this new World Series. So like to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Is there anything really surprising in this rider list? Do you have any further questions or any thoughts? Or have you heard any rumors as well for some of these spots? If so, throw them down below and we'll check them out. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe if you get a chance.